We've had a number of customers asking what is the green arrow on the part or assembly icon in the tree. If you're not familiar, they look like this. The answer is a piece of functionality called 3D Interconnect. First, a bit of background. Prior to the release of SOLIDWORKS 2017, if we were to work on a third party file, such as Inventor, Solid Edge, Pro Engineer, and so on, we would need to open the file directly into SOLIDWORKS, at which point it would convert the document to a native SOLIDWORKS file with no link back to the original data. I'll recreate this process in SOLIDWORKS 2020. Notice there are no green arrows on my part and assembly icons. In SOLIDWORKS 2017, 3D Interconnect was introduced and it allowed us to work on these third-party files in their native format, so no conversion was done. Instead, we could drag these files directly into SOLIDWORKS assemblies. Because we are using the CAD files in their native format, they are linked back to the original file and are therefore read-only, so if changes are required, they must be done in the original program that was used to create them and these changes would automatically propagate into your SOLIDWORKS file. There are a number of ways to work with 3D Interconnect, which won't be covered in this video, but check the links in the description to our videos that do cover 3D Interconnect in more detail. In later releases of SOLIDWORKS, more file types were included with 3D Interconnect, including STEP and IGIS. It is with these files where we mostly see the confusion with our customers. 3D Interconnect is on by default, so let's say you open a step file, it will automatically open using 3D Interconnect. You will know you have opened the file using 3D Interconnect because the part and assembly icons in the tree will show with a green arrow next to them. As stated earlier, we can't modify these files because we are not converting into SOLIDWORKS files. We are reading the data directly. If you do want to modify the files, you have two choices. One, you can re-import the file with 3D Interconnect switched off. To turn off 3D Interconnect, go to your options, import, general, and toggle off enable 3D Interconnect. We'll then open the file and as you can see, there are now no green arrows on my icons in the tree. Two, we can dissolve the 3D Interconnect assembly. Right click on a 3D Interconnect assembly in the tree and choose to dissolve. This will break the link back to the original CAD data and it will become editable. You will need to manage the document like a standard SOLIDWORKS file. The translators for 3D Interconnect are different to the standard translators in SOLIDWORKS. So if you are having issues opening a third party file type, it's worth trying it with 3D Interconnect on and off to see which gives you the better result. We hope you found that useful. We'd like to take a few moments to tell you about our company. Innova Systems are a UK-based authorised reseller for SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD software. We provide the highest quality technical support and training courses to over a thousand of our customers. Buying from us doesn't just mean a box of software, you also get the backup of our multi-award winning technical support team. Innova have been voted number one for customer satisfaction for the last four years running. We are a company driven by the continued success of our customers. If you're interested in knowing more about SOLIDWORKS or the services we provide, please get in contact with us.